Hey, are you hungry or are you starving? That is a great question if you think about it. Hey everybody, I'm Danny. I am a fitness professional and a health coach. And today we're gonna to talk about hunger and what it is and what is going on with your body, especially when you are starting a new eating plan or a new fitness program. Sometimes you can feel like you're just not sure what is going on with what you are feeling. A lot of times this can be confusing because you're thinking, I feel hungry and normally when I feel hungry, I should eat. And I do agree with that to a point. So I really wanna talk about what the difference is between having some hunger, feeling those hunger pains, or feeling like you're starving, running low on energy, getting lightheaded, and feeling like you need to eat now. So let's first understand that when you are starting a new plan, let's say we're talking about a five day or seven day plan, and this might be trying to experiment with intermittent fasting, which could be totally different than what you've been currently doing, or it might just be starting to introduce eating clean into your regular diet. And a lot of times what's happening is your body is already used to one way of eating, so usually when you start to make some changes, your body is going to see some results. Results are gonna show up in a few different ways, right? Some of us will lose weight or inches, lose belly bloat, our energy will increase. But what I wanna encourage you with is understanding that you're also going through some crazy things as well. Some up and down positions as far as maybe how your mood is feeling, you might start to get a little irritable, um, especially when you're cutting things out like sugar. A lot of times we don't realize how addicted to certain foods we are. And sugar, man, when we think about sugar or when you think about drugs like cocaine and heroin, Sugar is, can be like eight or 10 times more addicting than a drug. So you're getting that same response in the brain and that reaction in the body. So when you have sugar, you usually want it again. So when you're going through, let's say, let's use the word detox in the sense of, you know, a cleanse or something like that, where you're just starting to eliminate that and add in more healthy, good foods to the body, or let's say you're stopping um, drinking soda and you're trying to drink more water. These are all great things for you. Just know that your body is going to feel a few things. Some of us might get headaches. Some of us might feel great. We're all a little bit different during this process. I just encourage you to understand the difference between feeling hungry because you can feel hungry and that is okay. The difference is, is if you're feeling hungry, like you're starving, your body is not getting the nutrition that it needs, then you wanna think about that. So when you're following a plan, make sure you're really getting in all of your macros, meaning you're getting in all of the protein, the carbohydrates and the fat that your body needs. So remember, if you're following a plan, you might need to put more food together in one meal, right? And keep yourself a little fuller and more satisfied. I actually prefer to feel that way because I am somebody that is hungry all the time. So for me, I feel better when I have fasted. And while I'm fasting, I'm hungry, but I'm drinking a lot of water and then I get past the hunger. So you will get past that. I know I'm okay with this because I am feeding my body. I'm eating. I'm giving my body all the nutrition that it needs during the time that I'm feeding my body. So if it's an eight hour window, 10 or 11 hour window, depending on the day, I'm getting in all of the protein that I need, all of the carbohydrates and all of the fat that I need. So if you are missing an area um, you want to think about that and see, did I get in all of the food that I need? And if you have and you're still feeling that way, maybe you're short on water.
Okay, so that's one thing that we talk about, making sure you're getting in enough water. Most of us, it's about half of our body weight in ounces, but some of us need more than that. So that's why I say try to shoot for a gallon and see how you feel. Other times it might be a true craving. Cravings can come for many different reasons. So I ask you to think about that. When you're starting to make changes, you're going to be going through some things as well. These things sometimes just, you know, they're in your face and it's like, okay, what is really going on here? Is there a trigger? Has something made me think about food? So when I first asked you, are you hungry or are you starving? Maybe you weren't, but maybe you are now because we're talking about it, right? Or maybe you're at work and something visually is there that you're seeing and it starts to trigger your body to want it. Um, other times you might smell something and then all of a sudden you become hungry. So there's a difference between that true hunger where your body needs food and is still looking for something to satisfy what it needs nutritionally and that's honestly why for me, I use, I drink Shakeology every day. It truly helps me with that. So I just wanted to put that in there. If you are not using that yet, ask me about it. And you're just really thinking, what's going on in my day? Has something triggered a craving? Maybe it's something that you went through, um, a difficult time with a relationship, a hard time at your work that day. And it just brings on this feeling of wanting to eat something. Sometimes your mind remembers what you did last time, right? Like when you had a hard situation and you allowed yourself to eat the cupcakes or go out and have the pizza or whatever it is. And um, now your brain is remembering that when you're going through the same situation again and it becomes its natural thing that it wants to have. Normally, maybe you will indulge in things and you're feeling crappy and you're not feeling good and now you're making these changes, but you've been used to indulging in those things. So it's going to take you some time to get through that. You can do it. It's really honestly the mindset. I want you to switch it on and tell yourself, I can do this. It's okay to be hungry. But if you are starving and you're not feeling good, your energy is low, you're bonking, meaning you can't make it through a workout, let's look at the fact that maybe you are not getting in the full amount of portions that you need. Sometimes we think, oh, I want to see results. I'm going to cut this a little bit more than what the plan says. I'm not going to have that. I'm going to have this fruit instead. It's actually different. So I really encourage you to keep those healthy fats and carbohydrates in, keep those proteins in, try not to swap them out because that might be the reason why you're feeling the way that you are. Give yourself some time to get through it. Usually your body's gonna have a response every three days, which is pretty cool. So um, keep going. Focus on what you're truly feeling. I hope this helps you to think about where this hunger is coming from, what it truly means, and I want you to keep going. Any questions, please comment below. If you feel this video has helped you, please share it. Spread it along. We love that, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch the video, and thank you for sharing. And don't forget to follow me on Facebook at Danielle R. Laux. I would really appreciate it, and I look forward to talking to you soon. Thanks. Have a great day.